Hey, I'm Sensei Matt Federico with Corey here. We're going to teach you uh, how to practice chicken kicks with uh, some quarters. So here we go. So what you're going to do is you need a partner some quarters. And this is what you do. So if you do a chicken kick, Corey picks up one knee, switches, kicks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take quarter, throw it, bounce it off his knee. He's going to drop it with his knee. And now he's going to chicken kick again. So he steps, knee kick. And then I throw it again. I'm going to drop it. Uh-oh. Step, knee kick. Uh-oh, we got to stay in frame. Let's go this way. On his belt, drops it, step, knee kick. If it rolls really far, he's got to hop there. Step, knee kick. Uh oh, uh oh, that one's got a little bit. Knee kick. See how his leg drops it? Step, knee kick. So all I'm doing is throwing a quarter at his leg, he puts it down. Uh oh, uh oh, he's going. Step, knee kick. Good. <laughs> leg on there. Step, knee kick. So the point of this drill is really simple. Uh, after you kick, you should be able to place your foot anywhere that you choose. So even with any kick, once you kick, the next thing you do is chamber. Putting a coin on the ground kind of helps you uh, realize that after you're done kicking, re-chambering and figuring out where you need to step is very important. So all kicks always must have a chamber. Uh, with the chicken kick, you're just doing knee and switch kicking. Sometimes having a little drill like this or game gives you those reps to really help you practice it. I'm Sensei Matt from Eureka, that's Corey. And that's how you chicken kick with quarters. Have a shot.